Going bananas for bananas. Not really. Anyways, this video is intended for entertainment purposes only. Please keep that in mind. Anything that's going on with your specific situation, you really should talk to your doctor about, right? Ask your doctor about what's best for you in your situation because you might have some underlying issues. Are you diabetic? That's also a big thing. Talk to your doctor. Anyways, what I'm doing is I'm just sharing with you my experience with this. If you gain some knowledge from that and you and your doctor together want to make a more informed decision and you want to share this video with your doctor, go ahead. What's going on here? So my roommate has like a half a banana, like a little tiny piece of banana every day because my roommates just I can't stubborn. I just can't convince them that bananas are bad for are bad for them. So anyways, what I'm trying to get at is bananas are so genetically modified now that there is so much sugar than what the natural banana was a hundred years ago. Let's say even, even as recent as like maybe 50 years ago, the manufacturers, all those big companies, I'm not going to mention any names, Dole, you know, <laughs> the, those companies are trying to basically make them taste better so that you buy more of their product. But if, if, if you had to put what a real banana was like a hundred years ago compared to a banana now, two totally different things. A, a real banana is more like a plantain. I think is what it was, right? Is that right? I think, yes, no, I don't know. Comment in the comment section down below. Maybe even more than 100 years ago. I'm not even sure. But anyways, a lot of people take bananas. They're like, okay, we'll take a banana for potassium. I, I don't think they realize how much sugar is in one of these things. So to get to win the battle to get more potassium, they're going to lose the battle because they're loading themselves up with sugar. I find, this is my experience with this. I find that when I have a banana... What ends up happening is, is because there's so much sugar, right, that's pulling water away from where it needs to be, I actually get dehydrated, right? Which means then, then I, then in the past, I've taken another banana because I'm like, oh, I'm feeling dehydrated. I'm getting muscle cramps. Let me take the banana for the pet potassium. And it just makes the whole situation worse. It's like, it's like, it's a snowball effect. It's just getting worse and worse. So my roommate does this, more power to them. So be it. In my specific situation to get the potassium, what I do is I just take potassium bicarbonate or I'll take an electrolyte, something like this. This is the current brand that I'm using, right? Electrolytes powder. But in here, what I'm getting is, as you can see there down there below at the very, very bottom, 250 milligrams of potassium, which is 5% of the daily value. This is in no way, shape or form to be disrespected. You have to be, this is something you really need to talk to your doctor about. You have to be careful with how much potassium you're taking and also the type of potassium. See, this potassium here is potassium is potassium phosphate, potassium aspartate. This potassium is potassium bicarbonate, which in my experience has been stronger than this potassium has. So the suggested serving size of this one is this much. If I take this entire thing, I start getting heart palpitations because it's too much potassium. Potassium is one of those electrolytes that helps to regulate the systolic and the diastolic in the heart. So just fun fact here, don't quote me, but fun fact here, when most people die of heart attacks later in life, it's because there's such a buildup of potassium in their system, right? Their body's shutting down. We're talking people in hospice, that kind of vibe. What actually ends someone's existence on this planet is because there's such a buildup of potassium that the signal in the heart cannot function correctly, right? We're talking people like old, elderly people, right? How do old people pass on to the next afterlife or whatever? There's such a buildup... Not everyone, but mo but most of the time, there's such a build of a potassium in their system that the signal between the diastolic and the systolic gets screwed up and their heart stops, their heart shuts down. A heart attack, myocardial infarction, if that's what you want to call it, that's what ends up happening. So you got to be careful of how much you're taking. Typically, when I'm when I'm doing this and I'm taking this, I take maybe, maybe like a like one tenth of this entire spoon. So I'm not taking a full dose. I'm taking maybe like one tenth of a spoon. And the only re the only reason why I would take this and when I would take this as a supplement is if I'm going to the gym, I'm going to have a really hard workout, heavy workout. Potassium is what prevents the muscle cramps, muscle cramps during physical activity. 
Magnesium is what prevents the muscle cramps at night after the fact. So it's very important to balance potassium and magnesium, right? And that's why you, 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 you out there, that's why you need to go to your doctor and talk about your specific situation. If you are having a potassium deficiency, let your doctor, let your doctor tell you what you need for your specific situation. If you're curious for the sake of curiosity, I'll show you this, but by no means am I suggesting to take this or anything. You need to talk to your doctor. But there you go. There's the supplemental facts, right? There's 494 milligrams of this in one serving, which is one scoop, and that's 10% of the daily value. So once again, this is pretty potent stuff. And I, of the serving size, I take maybe one-tenth of this entire serving spoon or whatever. Very, very minimal amount. That That's what helps me to prevent the muscle cramps, but at the same time, it does not mess with my diastolic systolic connection so talk you 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 talk to your doctor about your specific situation okay anyways with that being said if you like what you're seeing hit the like button hit the subscribe button down there below i will put a link to this in the description i'll also put a link to some other electrolytes and stuff like that down there in the description as well remember this is serious stuff because you're talking about your heart now not just your, your muscle cramping if you're having that, but talk to your doctor because this is serious stuff. And I will catch you all in the next exciting video.